Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about the latest HDB BTO and why I think the government has just let loose one of my long cap secret. Let's dive straight into it. Okay, so you can see the HDB just released the latest BTO launch for June 2024, okay? So I want to just share with you guys a few findings that I have about this BTO in case you are applying for it. And at the end, I want to share with you one of the secrets that actually came out all right, it's my secret that I've been sharing with my uh, clients on the 101 who asked me to do property research for them, okay? And I think I cannot keep this secret any further already, okay? So so let's get straight into it first. Uh. Number one is that let's look at the BTO launch for June this year, right? Uh, by the way, guys, the deadline I think is 26 or 27 of this month. So do check if you're going to apply for it. There's only about weeks left, okay? So... This is also going to be the last BTO launch that's going to still keep the mature and non-mature uh, categorization. So you can see over here, the non-mature estate are here, uh, Teban Breeze, Masling, and uh, Chencharu. Chencharu is actually Yishun, okay? And the mature estate is Tampanis, uh, Green Topaz. This is actually closer to the Safra at Tampanis, okay? But there's also two prime land housing, prime location housing, right? Uh, one is Tanjong Ru and the other one is at Holland Vista. Now, one thing is when I look at all this, right? The quick question is I want to ask is, hey, if I were to buy a BTO, okay, which one should I buy? Which one would give me the highest, all right, or biggest profit difference? Because the thing is the government actually shows uh, the transacted price of the resale flat nearby okay so i tabulated this whole thing that was provided on the HDB website and these are my findings you can see over here um durong woodlands issue tampany stanjong ru and holland vista i only took in the four room and five room because these are generally the largest uh profit uh, size okay and you can see this is basically the uh, starting from price that you can buy from HDB for the bto and this is the lower range of the resale price nearby okay so if you take a look at it i already color coded it basically the most profitable one that you can uh go for is actually going to be the tanjong ru and the holland vista one and this is why these two area are considered prime location housing right so you can see over here the price difference between the tanjong ru three room flats is actually three hundred eighty eight thousand. okay this is in fact the only three room flats uh, uh in this whole new launch right that has this kind of price difference okay the four-room flat is actually a bit lesser and Holland Village actually surprisingly doesn't do as well. But when I look at this, I realized one thing and it was actually done by one of my uh, uh, clients back then. He said, Pete, how, how about in the future? Because when we buy into this BTO, right, it will take time for it to be built and then there's a five-year or even 10-year MOP. Okay, so I know that the prime location housing has a 10-year MOP, but I'm just going to use a five-year MOP to do a further projection. And what is this projection is I'm going to look at how about if we adjust it for inflation, okay? So in this case, I adjusted for nine years later, okay? So I'm considering like maybe about three to four years of construction and then five years of MOP. And I look at it from a three-year inflation rate. So what will happen is that the lower bound of prices will become this if you let it compound at 3% for nine years. Okay, and you can see clearly uh, certain areas like Tampanis already hit 1 million, even at BTO prices, okay, <laughs> right? Tanjong Ru already way at uh, above 1 million, okay? So when I look at the difference, right? Previously, this was the difference that was not adjusted for inflation, and this is the difference that is adjusted from inflation. And you can see that once we adjust for inflation, then actually the whole... Tanjong Ru, Holland Village uh, area is actually really, really good. And another one that surprisingly stood out quite strongly is also the Jurong Five Room Flat. Okay, so once again, I think in Singapore, uh, the prime areas uh, continue to do well, plus the large size unit, right, is continue to be something that people will go for. Okay, now let's take a look at the key ones, uh, which is actually uh, Holland Vista and Tanjong Ru. Okay, so number one, this is the Holland Vista. Where it is, is actually here. This map uh, that we'll be looking at may not be very intuitive. So what I did was I brought out the Singapore map, all right, uh, that looks a bit more familiar. Okay, this is the main map. And where is this place? Because it's actually over here, right? So this is the latest One Holland Village Mall. And this is the One Holland Village Residence. And recently, this plot of land was also sold, right, through the government land sale. So actually, the plot directly below it is going to be 
the BTO project, okay? Now, a few uh, cool facts is that number one, if you apply for this, your waiting time is not a three year or four year. In fact, the stated waiting time is 57 months. So that will bring you to closer to a five year wait, okay? And on top of that, sometimes when uh, my one-on-one -on -one clients ask me, should they go for BTO? I always say, if there's a good location, great. But another element that you cannot control is the stroke of luck, okay? So what is the stroke of luck here is that the four room flats are actually very little, only 228 units. I suspect this will be so oversubscribed, like a seven times, six times oversubscribed, okay? So whether you will get it or not after you apply is another question mark, right? And if you're going for two-room flexi, then of course it's even uh, lesser over here, right? So this is the Holland Village one. I think it's going to be quite uh, popular, quite well sought after because it is very near to not just the MRT over here, but it's also very near to amenities, right? For example, the mall is just right next to it. So this one definitely, if you buy uh, for a while, right, the BTO prices are, is definitely going to go much higher from here. Okay, so the next one is The Secret. Okay, so this is a location that I don't know if I've talked about it on the YouTube channel before, but this is some, uh, some it's an area that I have shared with my clients time and time again, say, that, hey, this area is really good, up and coming, you should take a look at it, all right? And this is none other than the Tanjong Ru area. Okay, so the latest BTO is actually these two, right? Tanjong Ru Riverfront One and Two. Now, where exactly is it? It's actually across the river from the stadium, right? Uh, this is what we call the Kampong Arang Road, and Dunman High School is just right beside it. All right, so it's over here. These two. If I were to look at the overall map for you, okay, where exactly it is? It's actually over here. So you can see that it's a very good location as well. It is kind of uh, smack in between two MRT stations, Katong Park MRT station and also Tanjong Ru MRT station. So it is not at the very deep end of Tanjong Ru, which is this area, right? You are actually quite close to the main road, which is actually Fort Road over here. So this place is actually pretty awesome as well. And another thing is for those of you out there who are fans of concert, right? Taylor Swift fan, right? This is going to be amazing because you are right by the uh, Singapore National Stadium, right? The Sports Hub is just right next to it. You can probably hear Taylor Swift concert from your home, okay? <laughs> right? So this is the latest one. I think this one is also going to garner a lot of attention for people to apply for BTO. But what is the secret here? The secret here is that I don't think that it's just the BTO that's very amazing. It is the future development of the whole area, okay? So if I were to adjust the map a little bit, this is the main area of Tanjong Ru, and there are quite a lot of development happening right now. Number one is that this whole space of the Marina Golf Course is going to be uh, returned to the government by next month, okay? It is going to uh, not be renewed as a golf course, it's going to be redeveloped, right? It will be redeveloped into what, right? So you can see over here, if I just show you, right, this is the area photo, okay? And this is the Tanjong Ru area, and this whole plot uh, will be redeveloped, okay? It is such a big plot, okay? So you can see this is the whole Marina Golf Course. Uh, this is the Tanjong Ru condo area. And this purple area is actually the uh, Founders Memorial. And in the future, it's going to be another garden, right? I think they are calling it the, the Bay East Garden, right? So this is going to be an extension of the current Marina Bay Garden as well, okay? Really amazing. If you look at the overall uh, size, right? This is the Tanjong Ru condo area. This plot collectively, if you add together, is about three to even four times bigger. So there's a lot more land. I don't think everything will be private property. It will definitely be a mixture, probably 60% to 70% public housing, and then another 30 to 40% private housing. But regardless, what I like about this area is that right now, when I look at the existing condo, uh, performance in the area, it has been quite encouraging, right? Over the last three years, they have been growing uh, more than 25% on average. And when I compare the prices, okay, across the whole area, you will notice that the most expensive areas are actually at your East Coast, Mayer Road. But when you reach Tanjong Ru, right, there's a sudden dip in prices, regardless whether is it a leasehold property or freehold property. So I see that that is really an opportunity that... Uh, people are not seeing yet, right? But with this new announcement of BTO, I think it will garner more and more eyeball. In fact, the prices at Tanjong Ru, ever since I started telling my clients about a year ago, has been steadily increasing, right? So right now, actually, it's on the verge of maybe closing to 1,800 PSF. 
when I was talking to my client about one year ago, I told him, Tanjong Ru is such a central area. When the MRT is up, right, it's going to be so close to the Shenton Way area. CBD is just nearby, right? And it's selling at about 1006 back then. So I think I thought it was a very good price. And in fact, right now, when it's 1008, I still think it's a very decent price because once all the BTO activities started going, there will be government land sale happening. There will be more condos coming up. I think this whole area will receive a lot of attention and because it is so central right you look at the mrt station it is cc6 you know right it's almost at the center of the singapore already so i think this area really should be worth your consideration okay so just to summarize why i like this area and why this is a secret that i've been sharing with a lot of my one-on-one -on -one members and many of them have already purchased and staying there already okay number one is that we're going to see the thompson east coastline happening very soon right the tanjong Ru station over here Plus, the whole future development of this uh, so-called peninsula, right? The Tanjong Ru area with the Marina Golf Course leaving, okay? Plus, the Founders Memorial is going to be here. This area is going to be rejuvenated, okay? And I do expect the prices to increase from here. And right now, at about 1,007, 1,008, at such a central location of Singapore, I do believe is a very undervalued price. Okay, so for those of you who are applying for BTO in the Tanjong Ru area, right, perhaps you want to look at the condo over there as well if it's within your budget. Okay, but once again, let me just do a very quick shout out. Once again, my one on one consultation, right, for property research and property consultation is open right now. Okay, we only take in 15 applications uh, each month, and you can actually apply at the link over here, right? Once you have applied already, my team will actually contact you for further arrangement. Now, we do screen through the clients quite uh, tightly because we want to make sure that we only help those that we can assist, right? We don't proclaim to help everybody. But if you want to find out any more gems like this Tanjong Ru that we have spotted for our clients about a year ago, right? The link is over here. Okay, so I hope you guys like the content over here. Once again, if you like it, do like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.